Hello, welcome. And we've got another video in the series here on the Traxxas ID style chargers and the batteries. So these are great if you want to charge one of the ID equipped batteries like that with the connector on them. They just plug straight in and it recognizes it. You don't have to do anything else with it. However, what if you've got a different battery, something like this? Can you charge it with it? Well, you can. These chargers are equipped with the separate balance ports here. It'll only charge two cell or three cell. The two cell will plug into there and the three cell will plug into there. You don't need them with the ID charger because it's all equipped into here. And also when you use a normal charge to a cable, it will not detect the battery type. So you need to make sure you select the right battery type. I have just made up this simple adapter using slightly older style TRX connectors which do fit onto here, but you need to be aware that they are not, um, you, can, you can connect them with reverse polarity. The, the positive is to the left hand side. So we just plug that into there like that. Our main connector for the battery plugs into this little adapter here. You can get these adapters in various places. This is one I just made up for this video. And then you then need to plug this into that balance port that I was talking about. Unfortunately, some of these cables aren't very long, so you've got to be a little bit careful what you do. And you should always then still try and charge up in a LiPo sack. So we've got this battery here, it's now plugged in. So once we're connected up like this, we then need to enter what they call advanced mode. To do that, hold these two buttons down, or the other two if you're on the other channel. Hear that beep, and it then gives you the options. It automatically defaults to LiPo, which is what we're on. You've then got the option here again of balance, Fast, fast again is where it will cut off as soon as it detects one of the cells to 4.2 or storage. We're going to go to balance, set your charge rate. We're going to put the maximum in eight amps, hold it down to start and away it goes. This will go into a lipo sack as soon as, the video, as soon as I pause the video for safety. Very important to do that. We'll let this charge up and then we'll compare it on the eye charger just to see how accurate it is by using this method. It shouldn't be any different to what we found with the Traxxas batteries when you're using the ID connectors. The only thing with this is you've got a couple more possibilities of getting things wrong. The charger does detect, so if, if, we, if we disconnect this for example, it detects it, errors and stops charging. So although it's not quite as foolproof as the Traxxas ID settings are, it's still pretty good. So we then need to go back, select our charge rate, we're on LiPo, balance, and then start it again. So if you disconnect that, it will stop the charging. Conversely, if you pull this cable out, it will also detect it. So while it's not, and again, make sure you put the positive is to the left. I'm not going to try plugging it in the wrong way around. I'm not sure if it's reverse polarity protected. You may blow the charge up, you may not. I'm not going to try that. So again, advanced mode, LiPo balance, which is the default. Go back into eight amp, start it off. And there it is, it's charging. Because you've not got the ID, connector this doesn't light up in blue but it is charging so we'll leave that to charge we'll come back in a minute see how accurate it charges up and we'll compare it on the eye charger with the actual cell voltage finishers so the battery is now charged what we're going to do is we compare and see what the end voltages are like on the eye charger see how accurate it's charged it up on manual mode on the Traxxas charger So similar to the tracks, we've got two connections to make on the eye charger. We've got an adapter cable here, which pulls the main power and then the balance cable. Same, same as before, 4.19, 4.10, 4.186. 4 so it leaves cell three a little bit low. Internal resistance is, again, this is a used pack. So I don't expect it to be that great. Yeah, 21.8, so that is actually quite a tired pack. And it isn't as expensive a pack as a Traxxas. It's, uh, it's uh, 
Jen's Ace one, um, sort of middle of the road sale. So we'll do a discharge on this, same as what we've done on some of the other Traxxas LiPos, to see if we can get a comparison. We'll do it at 20 amps, 3.5 volt per cell cutoff, and see what it comes in. I don't expect it to be that grey. It's a battery that's been sitting about for a little while, always been kept in storage charge, but it is, uh, it is a little old. But we'll see what it comes in at. So the discharge on this is now complete. 3695. Didn't think it'd be particularly great and it's it's not, but it's an old battery. So it will do for just a little bit of messing about, but it's not going to give great performance. As you see, compared to the, the Traxxas, theoretically it should be higher capacity, but it's not. It's older. It is smaller. It's narrower. Sorry, it's not narrow. It's shorter in length. Weight wise, probably about the same. A little tip I've been told. If you've got two like for like batteries, the heavy one will be the better battery. It's got more in it, so that's a little tip there. So if you've got three or four batteries that are the same and you don't know how to see which one's the best, you can weigh them. Won't get much difference, but one that will be slightly heavier than the other, that should be the better battery. So there's no signs of swelling on this battery. It's just a bit tired with the resistance as we saw in the, a little bit earlier is a little bit higher. So it's, it's not a great battery, but that'll do just for a bit of messing about on that one. So I hope that's been another interesting video on the lipos and the chargers anything else you want me to look at then just drop a message and uh, we'll have a look at it thanks very much